This demo starts with the view of the spreadsheet. First, let's enable Excel to run macros. Seeing the FRF synthesis dialog box appears. This dialog box allows us to set up model parameters and run the application. We select the numbers of modes. We enter the damping value. Indeed, the A3 server computes only resonance frequency and mode shapes. We define the frequency range from 1 to 4000 Hz with a step of 1 Hz. Before running the application, verify that units are the same as used by the EF3 server. Now let's copy the 10 model parameters in the corresponding cells. These model parameters can be obtained using EF3 server such as KD and S on Freemap. Not if you are only interested by FRF, then the source and recent points must have the same value. Now let's run the application by clicking on the run button. After a few seconds, results are written in the sheets and plotted. We are going to close the dialog box to inspect the FRF. On the sheet named annotants, we can see the annotant spectrum. On the sheet named dynamic stiffness, we can see the dynamic stiffness spectrum. On the sheet named transmissibility, we can see the transmissibility spectrum. Not on this example, it clearly appears that peaks on the transmissibility curve are not at the same frequencies as the other ones. Resonant frequencies are always determining on the annotance curve, not on the transmissibility curve.